Sincarna, a metallurgical and chemical industry, is like a small city. It is where more than 900 people from chemical, metallurgical, IT, economical, engineering, electro, and other fields work. It covers around 100 acres. Different units operate in Sincarna such as the titanium dioxide or white pigment unit, the metallurgy unit, the Mosierier chemistry unit, the Celia chemistry unit, the polymer unit, and the maintenance and energetics units. These units are assisted by various support departments. The main activity of the group is the production of titanium dioxide or white pigment. Sincarna's primal markets are Germany, Italy, Turkey, Belgium, France, Holland, Austria, Serbia and Poland. I think that our project of the Cincarna is a very important group of people who are very proud of their work. All of us are together on the same basis, and that is the satisfaction of our buyers. And I think that our buyers and our buyers are the most valuable project of the project. The project of the Cincarna is the Sincarna is in one of the most successful periods of its existence. But before we talk about the present and future, let's look into the past. After the opening of the South Railway Road in the Austrian-Hungarian monarchy from Vienna to Trieste in 1857 that passed through most of the Slovenian territory began the industrialization of the land. Selje Valley was one of the first to take advantage of this opportunity for regional development and industrialization. In 1873, the local authority of the town of Selje wrote a letter to the Austro-Hungarian monarchy to construct a Sincarna factory near the town of Selje. This task was entrusted to the highly respected expert Albert Brunner, who designed the construction plans for the first melting and ceramic factory. Sincarna started to operate in 1875 and has survived through three centuries. The turning point was 1973, when the production of the titanium dioxide started and forever changed and drew plans for future generations. The factory was built with the best possible technology at that time. The seed of our tree, which was planted in 1873, has grown deep roots that has produced a strong foundation for the future. Let's take a closer look at how the titanium dioxide, or white pigment, is produced. The titanium ore is first agitated with concentrated sulfuric acid, which accomplishes the conversion of titanium dioxide to titanol sulfate. It is clarified and then hydrolyzed through a number of stages. The resulting gel is washed and treated with chemicals that adjust the physical texture through drying and calcination. Although following this phase, the product already displays the characteristics of a white pigment, it still doesn't meet market requirements. The unrefined pigment is consequently surface treated, usually with a combination of hydrated aluminia, silica, and or zirconium deposited into the core of the titanium dioxide particles using a wet precipitation process. 
Indeed, the manufacture of this highly sought after product involves its undergoing a sequence of 21 basic and 31 supporting technological procedures as a result of its ability to protect materials against the deleterious influences of sunlight and weather, as well as due to its extreme bleaching and coating power, titanium dioxide is literally present in every facet of modern life. This uniquely white pigment, which was not anticipated to be substituted in either the long or short term, is commonly used in the manufacturing of paints and coatings of every type as well as plastics, papers, rubbers, ceramics, welding electrodes, foodstuffs packaging, medicines, and cosmetics. More than 95% of the titanium dioxide is exported. In addition to the titanium dioxide manufacture, the process also results in the production of sulfuric acid waste, which is partially recycled, whereas the remaining portion is neutralized. Chemical gypsum is also a byproduct of this process and is marketed while the residue is a neutral waste, which is deposited as landfill. One part is used in the cement and agriculture and construction industries. The other part is used for building noise barriers, flood embankments, and for diversity of fillings. The maintenance and energetics unit was there from the beginning and is in charge of all the other installations and company units. They followed the production processes in the factory and adapted through time. Today they use modern methods to determine and solve the different devices conditions and processes that take place in the factory. Due to the automation process they have also adjusted and developed the area of energetic consumption. They have given special care to the optimization of the factory processes in order to rationalize and efficiently consume the energy. This unit develops systems for protection from corrosive materials. The need for better protection and sustainable corrosive materials in the production of titanium dioxide led them to develop the polymer treatment known as Teflon and rubber. It is used primarily in servicing the production and ensuring the aggressive agent's decantation systems and protection of the metal delivery and reinforced concrete systems. Extreme conditions, which some processes in the factory are exposed to, challenged them to develop better sustainable materials. They have gained experience and know-how from solving their own problems. The zinc melting factory has the longest tradition and goes back to the beginning. It all started with the melting of the zinc as there was a lot of zinc ore in the surrounding hills. Today they import the zinc from Northern Europe from which they develop zinc wire, zinc rod, zinc anodes, prism, and the zinc alloy, Zamec. Zamec is used by the auto industry in furniture goods, electromechanical parts, and various other products. Chemistry Seye focuses on the construction and agricultural industries. They offer the construction industry a wide selection of products, products which can be used in all stages of construction. They offer concrete, cement glue, mortar, plaster, different aggregates for exterior and interior application, and many other building materials. Their best known products are Nevador, Olmalt, and Villaplan. Their agricultural program consists of the production fungicides on the basis of copper and sulfur, special fertilizers, and garden substrates. Its most familiar products are Cooperblau Z, Pepelin, Kupovin, and Humovin. White pigment or titanium dioxide has helped in the research and development of the powder coating under the name of Ecolac and Master Batch. Color concentrate CC Master that is used in the procedure of the treatment of thermoplastics. These quality products allowed us to enter the fast growing market of polymers. 
Powder coatings are ideal for protection of all kinds of metal products. Master Batch, or Color Concentrate, is used in practically every branch of the industry. We support the local community and assist in the region's development. We share our success with the society by supporting the athletes, sports clubs, education, culture, and other events. We wish that our business success would affect the region and people positively so that we can plan the future together. Naše podjetje se zaveda svoje družbene odgovornosti v tem okolju. Rezultati okoljskega skrbnega pregleda so pokazali, da je to področje, kjer danes poteka proizvodnja, obremenjeno z odpadki minule proizvodnje. Zato smo v sodelovanju z nemškim podjetjem CDM Smith sprožili projekt, katerega namen je bil ugotoviti kakšno tveganje, ta stara bremena, ki jo ne snažujejo pod talnico, pravzaprav predstavljajo za okolje in za prebivalstvo. V ta namen smo raziskovali tako znotraj kot zunaj ograje podjetja in ugotovili, da obstaja potencialna nevarnost, da ta stara bremena vplivajo na vodotoke in pa na zdravje ljudi, ki živijo pod odlagališčem nenevarnih odpadkov Bukožlak zaradi uživanja kmetijskih pridelkov. Ta trenutek poteka toksikološka raziskava ocene tveganja za te prebivalce in pa definiranje tako imenovanih vročih točk ali žarišč, kjer so ti odpadki bolj skoncentrirano odloženi in katerih bi se seveda v primeru potrebne sanacije morali najprej lotiti. In the future we will focus on a more fruitful collaboration with our employees, business partners and the local community. Our purpose and goal is to successfully continue our business operations and to ensure our owners appropriate profits. The seed of our tree, which was sown 145 years ago, has made today's roots deep and strong, securing the foundations for tomorrow's new leaders, generations, visions and challenges that will lead Sangarna to its new goals.